Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I also have to look a little bit at my reference and I also did uh, some of uh, a charcoal uh, drawing and for now I'm going to use my uh, Stabilo all because of uh, the charcoal if I put my hands over it it will disappear on that canvas Put my chill stool a little bit up. Good morning, Phil. Good afternoon for you, I think, of good evening. I think it's more good evening for you. That's nice, that little wind in my room. Because my breath is not very good today. Uh, 
I don't know why, but but I don't have a lot of bread to talk. Good morning, Norcas. I've just had a proper look at the terminal picture for your next project. <laughs> yes, it's a it's a bull moose, and I first did it. Uh, which are uh, rough with some uh, charcoal. <coughs> and now I'm using uh, a Stabilo, a Stabilo O. And that is. Uh, when it's wet, it is uh, semi-permanent, but the charcoal, uh, when I go over it with my hands, it disappears. And with uh, the Stabilo oil, I can also uh, put in uh, the shadow with uh, with the stabilo where I want my uh, uh, shadows. And I always have to laugh because they have a, a very round uh, snout. And they got, uh, yes, I don't know uh, what they call it. It's not a, a chin, but it is uh, beneath his uh, his head, and I love it because it's like a, like a beard. And in a minute, I will show you what this Stabilo will do. Good morning, JC. And in the background, in here, There will be 
some trees. And I'm sorry of my my breathing. Because I don't have a lot of breathing energy today. <coughs> because um, the temperature is not uh, so high. But the, it's the, the warmth and the... Uh, because it has uh, been a lot of rain I can't find my I hope this one will work A little bit. <coughs> and in here. I can make that darkness of his belly and a bit here in his back leg and here Also, and you can see when I also do it with my fingers, you can already see a little bit of that. Uh, the darkness and the crazy thing is they don't have normal noses because it's a hole a big hole with nose Here, in the background, I put in some trees. Nice to see you, Nargus. No, 
I have always fun on your streams. It is always nice to hear you talk about a lot of different uh, kinds of uh, things. And here in the background, about this height, there will be more like a grassy a grassy land. And everybody knows uh, on the uh, uh, original reference photo, I always give it my own interpretation. Good morning, Anthony. My little moose, now I yeah, little. It's bigger as my two hands now. I wanted to enlarge him so you can get more uh, structure and you can also uh, see more of the of the fur. And in this picture he don't have A tail, but they have a little thing on the back of their ass. <laughs> so it looks like a little uh, wiping tail. Because when they have to do, or when they uh, look for the for the females, there are um, some. Uh, yeah, we call it clears under the tails, and they spread uh, some of their uh, smell to attract uh, the female. Uh, moose. So with that little tail, they wiggle and they spread that uh, her smell, uh, his smell, so he can uh, get the woman moose to him. And I like it when uh, when I paint something or I draw something that I also can tell you uh, something about the animal that uh, I'm making. And the female does the same thing uh, for the uh, bull moose. And she wiggle her tail in the same way as the bull. And she spread her pheromones to attract him. 
so it's always nice when you also know something about uh, the animals. So now I have put um, this part in it. I can put my pencils away. And the first thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to activate uh, the Stabilo on. And I do that only with uh, the water And later on, I go over it with the uh, original uh, different kinds of uh, browns. But when now when I activate it, it is permanent. So when it's dry, I can get over it with my hands and it won't uh, smudge out anymore. Oh, you're good, sir. Uh, good afternoon, Chrissy. Oh, you're going to your mom. Of course, it's always nice for your mom when you are coming, Chrissy. And I don't know how long I'm here today because I don't know what is going on with me but I have not a lot <coughs> and you can hear it not a lot of uh, bread today and I don't know why maybe it's better tomorrow But I wanted to uh, put in the shape of my uh, mousse. No, not really, uh, Rishi. And I don't know why. But I think when I have a good night's sleep, it will be over. And otherwise, when it stays it, this way, I have to make an appointment uh, by the doctor. But I will see what will happen. Yeah. 
maybe yesterday I was uh, very busy. Um, maybe that's the trouble too, I don't know. But it will become all right. I really like to activate that. Uh, And that's the below. So I don't have to put out some paint already. Because this way you'll get your structure in it already. With only pure water. Yes, uh, Chrissy. I think when uh, when it stays this uh, this way. I have to do that. And maybe it's only a cold. Not too much water, because otherwise it is going to drip. I did that, but uh, with other paintings, I I did that with a female painting. Uh, I put on that stabilo oil. And I make it very, very wet. Uh, wet. And at that time, you can see uh, the drips of that uh, stabilo. Good morning, JC. I already said hello to you, but I don't think you have to uh, hear that. Or maybe I didn't say it uh, loud enough.
uh, now you can see it over here it's dry and I can go over it and you don't wipe it out anymore Yes, not long and he will be retired indeed. Um, the 28th of uh, August is the normal day that he uh, will retire. But he has also um, about two weeks and one day on vacation. So, at, um, overall, uh, for his normal work, uh, he has to work uh, about eight weeks. So, he will be very happy, Chrissy. That it is over for him. And I'm happy for him too. He has worked long enough. Because he was 14 years old. When he uh, began to work. And when he retired. He is 66 and 4 months. So he worked long enough, uh, Chrissy. He did his part on the society. <laughs> and over all, all the years that he worked, uh, he has uh, been employed for only three weeks in his whole uh, working period. It was three weeks that uh, he don't have any work. What will you do with him? Home, you have to get him painting. Yes, painting the house, Chrissy. He can paint the house, the walls, uh, the ceilings, uh, the windows. No, I uh, first when he can get home, uh, it's the end of August, thus maybe it's a uh, nice weather. So he gets uh, three weeks off from me, so he can uh, get his rest. And then I have uh, some things to do for him. Like painting uh, everything in the house. And in the living room, I will, uh, I will have uh, stairs rails. It's a uh, hanging rail uh, where you can put on your uh, artwork, but you don't have to uh, drill holes in, in your wall because it's uh, like a rail and you put it uh, onto the ceiling and there are hanging uh, yeah like thick uh, 
threads on it with hooks. And those hooks you can uh, put in different levels. And on those hooks you can uh, hang your artwork. And you can uh, slice the, the, the threads in different uh, parts of your wall. So you don't have to draw anymore. And if you want some more paintings on it, you can hang extra threads, uh, threads on it. So he is only allowed to for three weeks. No, uh, he don't have to do it uh, every day. But uh, the time that we lived here now, and he is daily uh, working. And in the last few years, he also worked in the in the weekends. And. <clears throat> so he can do it uh, the easy way and I don't mind uh, if he do it uh, in five weeks in, in, in ten weeks and by his boss uh yeah, everything is uh, on time, on time, on time. But first he can relax. And maybe he do it in, uh, in October when the weather is not... Uh, not so good anymore then we can do the the interior yeah crickle will yeah the whip over it uh chrissy <laughs> i hope he don't hear it Now uh, this afternoon he did a uh, hedge behind my garden because that is the outside where I go out with my scooter. And this week when uh, the weather was uh, so bad with all the rain, but the hedge was uh, all growing out and everything was wet. And I go out with my scooter, really. I put him on the front side of my house, my scooter. And uh, I was going upstairs. I needed to uh, refresh my clothes because everything was wet. So I said to Will, uh, Please, can you uh, trim the hedge? Uh, on the top side, I can't because I have to stand on the ladder. And that is something that I don't do. And he knows that. And he don't want me to do that. Yes, I like it. Now you see his uh, color of his shape and uh, where the shadows are, you can see. No, I never will whip him 
because he is a good guy and if he can he do everything in here I can put already some of those bushes so I can see where everything is a little bit going and you can also, when you draw with the Stabilo oil and you use a sprayer with water, now you can see what happens because I did this for uh, where the shadows and the shape is coming. But with those branches, if you don't want that or with the trees, <coughs> you can also spray and let it dry and you see when you spray a lot it will drip down See you later, Chrissy. Have a nice day with mom. Now, Chrissy gaat naar de moeder toe. Oh, yeah. Moet toch? Ja. Hé, hey Chrissy, ze zeggen, ik blijf niet lang, want ik ga naar uh, mijn vader en moeder toe. Ja, ze zijn ook bij jou. Ja, you have to do that, to go to your mother and father. Ja. Of course. Maar ik heb het gelezen. Ja. Ik heb het uh, niet in je laag gelegd, maar... Ja, je kan er eigenlijk niks op vinden, hè, ervan. Nee. Nee, dat dacht ik eigenlijk ook. Hey. Gewoon één kort, het is eigenlijk alleen de beschrijving wat ik gedaan heb. En verder is, uh, moet de zon het doen. Straks uh, moet je eens kijken of ik op die site van die, uh, van dat ding, of ik op YouTube misschien... Uh, Daarvan de beschrijving Nou, dat zal denk ik ook niet. Ja, je weet het niet, hè? Ik zal straks al even kijken. Nee, als je me opschiet. Hè? Ik zeg, als je me opschiet. Dat <laughs> uh, background. It will be, um, I don't know, because everything is all brown tinted. But I want some, uh, some light from uh, between the trees to, uh, to the moose. So I think I pick out uh, some... Uh, Grayish blue. Ah. A little bit of that grayish blue. Mm. And I did it. I cleaned up my whole. Oh, over here. I will say I cleaned up my whole uh, art room 
and I put everything in order. And now, for the first time, I have to look where I put everything. <laughs> Uh, blue. Uh, the blue is blue is grey, and I put out some uh, some white. And the colors that I used, I put over here, and. Uh, white and I need some of that it is Naples yellow it is titanium buff light no I want a titanium buff deep yes well that's not about uh oh okay You are like mama. Also have a cold, huh? You also have a cold. My little darling. So now I have uh, put out uh, <coughs> the grayish blue titanium buff dark um, and some white. To do the background by those uh, by those trees, so I can use a bit a wider brush for that. And I also sorted out all my uh, my brushes, the flat, uh, br small brushes, the flat, big brushes. I need a little bit of my. This is the full one, and this is a half one. I want a little bit of my retarder in that corner. So I can mix my colors better. And it is only uh, to block in a little bit. But you see, you can see still where my trees are coming. This one, uh, this brush is a little bit, uh, bit, a bit, a bit, a bit too small. So I think I'll use this one.
Hello, Gracie. And you see, um, after the after that blue, you still see the stabilo all. Otherwise, you have to draw your whole. Three rains in again. And now you don't have to do that. And it's uh, only a thin layer that I put over it. Yes, the moose is uh, from the photo vote, uh, crazy, that I put on, uh, on my Facebook. But there were not a lot of, uh, I have uh, more than 1,000 uh, followers on my Facebook. Um, I put on that photo vote. But there were not a lot of people that uh, voted on on it in the meantime that I was uh, painting uh, the Applegate River for, uh, for Paul. I think there were only five persons, five or six persons that put in uh, the vote the goose uh, was three times uh, two times for uh, for the landscape and one for the turtle And uh, normally there are a lot of more people that vote on the photo vote. So the three people that voted on, uh, on this goose, moose, but I meant. So then I painted uh, this one uh, first. <coughs> you are being what? Watching Ian and Naples today. Yes, he did a he did a good job again. I watch him uh, this morning. And he is a great friend. And I always, uh, I also have a painting of him in my living room. And the paintings that you see in the live stream, 
they are very beautiful. But when you buy a painting of him, it's more lively, uh, more vibrant than you see on, uh, on the stream. That is so gorgeous. Because on your computer or on your telephone or your tablet where you are looking uh, at the live streams, it's always different than when you uh, see the painting in real. And I am glad that I have uh, one of Ian's... Uh, painting and uh, winter scene with a cabin and mountains Yes, it's a Canadian moose, indeed. Uh, those mooses, those uh, big, big mooses are coming. Uh, yeah, we have also uh, some uh, moose, but not as big as uh, in Canada. Over there, they are much bigger. And they have um, uh, these angles. Uh, they are so big in there. I want some uh, lightness through those uh, trees. But I need some yellow. Because later on, uh, where these are bushes and grasses, and I want some uh, light stream from the sun over his, uh, his fur, because uh, at the top of his fur it will be uh, lighter than uh, the lower part, and there will be some lightness uh, over his uh, angles. A little bit of my cadmium yellow and my uh, citrus yellow. Oh, my see. Rustig, kind. <coughs> I know mama is a little bit ill, so you are ook a little bit ill, I think. And I mix that cadmium yellow and that citron yellow together with some uh, white and uh, Titanium uh, buff, <coughs> the titanium buff deep. Yes, they are lovely animals, but they are also animals that uh, can hurt you very well. I want some of that. Yellowness. In here. And this is a uh, makeup brush. And I like that because it is a very... Uh, Soft brush. Mm. 
that you can blend with your background. And in my background, I put some of that retarder. So it's easier to blend because the retarder gives more of the smoothness in it. Yes, they can kick your ass, those animals, really. And especially when there are uh, female uh, uh, moose around, they are very titorial. So they don't allow other people in their area. <coughs> By on the angel. Once uh, I use it, I only, it's a dry brush, so you only are dapping around. And when your brush is uh, loaded with those paints, you wipe it on a old cloth and then it's dry again because I want some of that uh, sunshine through those uh, trees Yes, it's a mixture of uh, of yellows, uh, Gracie. It is that uh, citron, uh, citrus yellow, and a cadmium yellow, with a little bit of the titanium buff dark. So it's not too bright, but you get the impression of the of the lightness and i i always uh, love to experiment with uh, with the colors And you can always put in a new layer if you want to have it a bit more yellowness from the evening. Uh, so In the lower part, it will be more orangey because it is evening uh, scene, a little bit of the even, evening scene where there is still some light coming 
through those trees. And I learned uh, a lot, Gracie, from uh, from Ian, from Ian Eppless, because yes, he is a he is a great painter, and I still use in all my uh, in all my paintings. I still use. Uh, his techniques. Now I can put a little bit of that orangey in it. So I can mix that. And later on, you see those trees back in here. And this tree will be a, a burp tree. So with a, a light and little brown cracks in it. And I hope. I translated that good, a burk. And the colors that I put on for now, I only the first block in parts. that I want.
and everybody knows. I don't paint uh, the painting in one session because it's too big to do that. <laughs> Because all the paintings I do on my canvases, all the canvases are 40 by 50 centimeters. And I don't know what that is in, uh, in inches. No, I don't really know what that is on inches. Oh, I have to look. I have a measurement over here. No, they are only in centimeters. But downstairs I have a um, I have something that I can see uh, also the inches. But I don't know what the inches are. And it isn't on the canvas either. No, it's only in centimeters. Because it's a Dutch brand. Um, I first, what I first want to do. I put in some of my blah, 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 uh, matte green, matte verdo green, call, they call it. And this is uh, from Lucas. It's an artist, uh, a fine artist, acrylic uh, painter. This is a, a ochre, uh, brown ochre, and this is a very, very good brand, but what I want to do now, um, I need a wider brush, a flat wider brush or a filbert is also good and I need this special ochre My dog is barking into the garden. I think she saw something or see something. That's crazy. Dogs, he make a lot of noise. <coughs> <coughs> and I don't know why. So in here, it's only blocking in the whole thing.
and I always do the sides of my canvas too. I don't care that I'm going over his angles uh, a bit. Because I have to do his angles anyway. But for me, it's important that uh, I have my my background filled in. bit of my retorter so it flows a little bit This session will also become some uh, bushes. So I want to put in that green today and then I have to go to prepare my dinner and 
maybe that I'm going to bed early this evening that I may uh, maybe I can maybe that I feel myself better tomorrow because I don't know what it is my breath isn't uh, <coughs> isn't very good so if you don't get enough uh, oxygen in your body you're getting very uh, tired and I did get my medicine this morning but I don't know what it is Yes, Gracie is on the listening terms today. Thank you, Gracie. It's only uh, a first layer of blocking in. Because uh, I have to do a lot of uh, layers also. Especially his, uh, his fur later on. Not today, but... Today I only want to put in uh, the green now. And I'm going to make my dinner. And also prepare the lunch for Will for tomorrow. When he is going to work. So I make his sandwiches that he can take and then tomorrow afternoon of tomorrow about uh, 12 o'clock I will put in uh, the next layer And I want to move uh, so you can really see um, 
when it's finished, that he has really hairs, uh, a, a, a thick uh, fur coat. Because that is the importance of, uh, of the painting. That you can see that uh, he has many uh, hair. Zitten, eten bij papa. Waar ben je? Is zo beneden. Is zo beneden. Zitten. Waar is ze dan? Op de trap. Will is calling uh, the little dog. <laughs> that she has to come uh, to eat. <laughs> but she was uh, here a minute ago in my uh, my room, and she was now laying on the stairs. A crazy girl. So, this part can dry for the next stage. Uh, tomorrow, I have to spray my palette, close him, that, yes, I have two dogs, uh, crazy. Uh, one uh, Malteser and one half Malteser and Chihuahua. It's mother, a mother and daughter. Oh, Will! Gracie, say, say hello to you. Gracie. Oh, he said hello back to you, Crazy. So, these are the colors that I'm using. Thus, I put that aside. And can you see there on my... That is the fur that I, uh, I want to create. So all the layers, this is not a reference photo, but I want to, uh, to do those colors in his back. So, because this one is an other reference, but I, I want to see the, the hairs, the fur of, it, uh, of him. So, I hope you enjoyed it for, for now. Uh, I have to put
put out that PC. That's only a uh, screen uh, PC. And my laptop is uh, on my right side where I can see your uh, your comments. Uh, Anthony, say hello to Neil. Neil. Oh. I think he is in the garden. Because he don't hear me, Anthony. My electricity went off for a few minutes, hoping it stays on the power this time. Can't be so. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's. Uh, yeah, we only. Uh, Our, uh, hour apart, um, crazy. Now it's uh, fifteen twenty-four over here. There's, I'm an hour in front of you. I was driving and had, and had this on the phone plug into the system. Now I'm home and looking at the big screen. That that is much better, uh, Anthony, to see it on a on a big screen. <coughs> so for now, um, leave it like this so it uh, it can dry, and then um tomorrow I want to do. Uh, the background of uh, of this mousse so get more brightness on, on some areas that you see the light streams to the mousse and there are, is a lot of uh, grass grassland and I want to do this burp tree I want them a little bit lower in here so that the moose uh, is in front of him and in here the trees there will be leaves in it um, around uh, about uh, where is my oh, everything falling on the ground because in here there are trees so this part this part at the top like that that will be more uh, bushes so there is a lot of things to do but I don't mind a good night, Phil. And maybe I'll see you tomorrow. And I want to thank everybody. Look, I have a daylight lamp installed. Uh, this lamp, it was broken off his stand. So... I put uh, on uh, a square uh, beam and I incorporate it on my on my desk in here and this frame there is a, a, a like a, a round uh, ornament and I put a hole in this uh, firm wood and now I can put him uh, over and there because the stand where he was in 
it was uh, from plastic and now it's uh, it's in wood and here in the back side I don't know if you can see it no you can't see it but there is a is a metal uh, frame and I put it uh, secure on my desk and I put all my things all in baskets that is all that is acrylic paint uh, that's also acrylic paint with uh, sparkles in it at the top that are or, uh, all oils there on the wooden box is all aquarelle and here yeah, there are all different kinds of brushes and all big bottles of Amsterdam acrylic paint and also behind my uh, screen and on this side I have my uh, screen where I put on my reference photo and in here I have all different kinds of brushes and fan brushes round flat and these are special brushes uh, special for uh, for fur in all different kinds of sizes and this one is uh, really my favorite in the bottom there are thick hairs and at the top it's very thin to make the fur and down here I have my wet palette and under my uh, easel I have always a, a, a cloth and my brushes are always drying flat so the water don't uh, go into my brushes <coughs> so now you have seen a bit of all my mess in here so I want to thank you for being here uh, I hope to see you I hope to see you tomorrow uh, I have to put it back yes like that and please give me the thumbs up and thank you for now. <laughs>